Okay, I'm going to show you a little trick today um, that will save your flight controller if this happens to yours. Um, and if you're buying the Omnibus off of Banggood, then it's probably going to happen to you too. Um, I have that flight controller on all my quads. Um, I think I have like one on one of the quads that's from Ready to Fly Quads which has the gold plated USB and it's like beefed up with extra solder on the side so it can't break as easy but uh, as you can see on this one this is the Banggood version and the USB goes right there and here it is right here it came off earlier when I went to unplug it it just fell right off it didn't snap or break or I didn't pull on it hard or anything it just fell off so that's a problem if you want to do any kind of tuning, change settings, or <laughs> anything. I mean, I can fly it just how it is right now, but sooner or later I'm going to want to change some PIDs, I'm going to want to update the firmware, whatever, you know, I mean, even to flash your ESCs or do ESC settings, you've got to have a USB. So, well, you could probably do uh, some whatever you used to use before. I don't even remember. <laughs> It's been a while, but, uh, anyway, so, yeah, it's broken. Um, I actually emailed Banggood because I was so pissed. I've only had this flight controller, like, two days, and this happened, so. Um, but there is a fix if you, uh, don't care that the USB is broken. I mean, because, like I said, it still works. And this is an easy fix if you have an FTDI adapter. And that is something that most people are going to have laying around from something else. You know, I had, it, I had it laying around from like a Beef's brush board from a long time ago. Um, and then also if you use like the MWOSD, you're going to be having an FTDI for that. So, And you can use the same one. So all you got to do is... Um, make a harness like this so all this is these are wires from like a flip 32 that came with all this all these different plugs and stuff and i never use them so i just save them but um so i cut the plug you know that had all these coming from it and then i cut another one soldered four wires together that match the same color and then it doesn't even matter what color just as long as you remember what color is what so, and then you need uh, four of them, one for 5 volt, one for ground, one for TX, and one for RX. So I chose purple for ground, white for 5 volt, yellow for TX, and green for RX. And you want to switch TX and RX around. So TX is uh, yellow, so I got yellow going to RX on the FC, and then... Uh, TX on the FC goes to RX on the FTDI. Um, and I'll show you if you happen to be using an Omnibus. Um, this is the wiring. You can see um, if you got the LED strip pads towards the top, then towards the bottom, the last four pins in the middle are the ones that you want. And from the bottom up, it goes RX, TX, 5 volt ground. And if you really need me to, I'll point them out. In the middle, closest towards the USB side of the board, is RX, TX, 5 volt ground. Those four last ones in the middle, closest to the USB side. And remember, you switch around TX and RX. So, like I said, I made the wiring harness, and then I just took a little 4-pin thing that I had from like a uh, Pololu and just plugged it in, plugged each wire into the 4 pin and then that way I can just set it in here you want to make sure you get it the right way so ground goes towards the top and I just stick it in the last 4 pins here and if you don't solder it you're going to want to kind of hold it to one side to make it have a good connection so what I'm going to do is plug this into the FTDI. And 
And then before I plug it in, I'm going to hold this down towards the one side. Plug it in. And it'll automatically detect what you're using. Your computer should anyway. Then I'm still going to hold this to the side so it keeps a good connection while I click connect. And there you go. I am changing settings on my flight controller without a USB. It's pretty cool. So just a little tip for you if you uh, break your USB port. And this will work on any FC. Uh, if It doesn't matter what it is as long as it has an, a spare UART. And it'll say TX1, RX1, or TX2, RX2, or TX3, RX3. Uh, and that's the different UARTs, UART1, UART2, UART3. And if you're using one of the UARTs for something else, you don't want to use that one. It has to be an open one. And in my case, it was UART1, because UART3 is being used by the satellite right here. And then UART2, I'm not sure where that is, but I think it's over here with the PWMs. But, um... I'm not using that either, but they're kind of covered up with some other wires and stuff, so UR1 was what I had available. But yeah, it was just a quick tip for you. If you ever break off your USB, which probably happens a decent amount of times. I mean, especially if it's an older flight controller you've plugged in a million times, it's eventually going to break no matter what. So, Alright, thanks for watching.